Okay, the inoculation process is about to start. I have the shiitake mycelium in the bag, you just saw, and I'm going to sew some holes in here and fill them with the sawdust, the soil spawn, I mean, and then cover them with the box. Okay, be back in a moment. Okay, so I've sewn. finished sealing the logs with wax soy, soy wax so yeah as you can see this is it I even sealed the ends of the ends of the wall because I had extra wax before it hardened because it's quite cold outside uh, before it hardened I But yeah, this is it. Very simple. Didn't take me too long to do. I would recommend doing this somewhere inside, maybe in a shed. Uh, my shed is currently full of stuff, so I'm unable to do it there. But yeah, um, I recommend doing it somewhere inside, garage, or shed, because you can see you know, the box. It just it goes hard really quickly, so I had to go three times inside to to. Um, heat on low heat to, to heat the wax because we don't want it hot as you can kill the mycelium okay so I've moved the logs if you can call these logs I mean, they're little logs and yeah I've rested them on this massive tree because I've mentioned this is the most shaded area on the property yeah. So it's better to be enjoying the shade and the upcoming rain. This was fun. I encourage you to do this if you like shiitake mushrooms or just any mushrooms. It wasn't difficult to do. I just used the saw, hand saw. You can use um, power tool so if you have but I prefer using the hand saw and yeah just sealing box and as you were able to see in the pictures and I even have some spawn left might need some more logs and you are not a batch <laughs> thank you for watching well, I look forward to see how this or what this will eventually come to I hope you'll come back to see how it all went. Take care.